is we need to be in we, we need to be in Cleveland. We need to be there protesting. We need to have our voices heard. We need to put pressure on the GOP and the GOP should be dead to all of us. This is our future. They're stealing it from us. They're stealing it from Trump. And that is Donald Trump supporter and Florida native Debbie Mick. She posted that video on Facebook and accused Palm Beach County Republicans of fixing the GOP primary. The Palm Beach County Republican Party's headquarters sits just across the bridge from Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club. Mick claims the county party picked people who were not going to support Donald Trump at the convention in Cleveland. Her complaints echo concerns that we've heard from Trump and his supporters in places like Louisiana, Tennessee, and most recently in Colorado. There is a lot going on in Palm Beach County, Florida, to say the least, especially when it comes to presidential politics, even though the Sunshine State's primary has long come and gone. We'll talk more about the Palm Beach County State Attorney's decision not to pursue charges against Trump's campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, also. But first, we want to welcome in our guest today, John. All right, thanks a lot, Miranda. Joining us right now is Michael Barnett. He's the chairman of the Republican Party of Palm Beach County. Michael, thanks for being with us. Also standing by is Corey Stroll, a criminal defense attorney who works in West Palm Beach. Corey, we'll be with you in one second. We'll talk about Corey Lewandowski and the case sure. uh, in, a, in a couple of minutes. But first, um, let's just lay out some things here. There are a lot of different rules when it comes to these state conventions, state delegates in, in that matter. So, Michael, in Florida, the delegates are bound to the candidate who won the primary for the first three ballots. That's correct, right? Correct. So we, we hear talk of Ted Cruz trying to siphon away voters on maybe the second ballot, perhaps even the third ballot. But if you're a Florida delegate, in response to, to Ms. Mick there, they are going to vote for Trump and, unless there's a fourth ballot. That's correct. Uh, the rules of the Republican Party of Florida don't allow for Florida's delegates to vote for anyone other than Donald Trump like you said, on the first, second, or third ballot. Um, and as you said, whatever um, shenanigans may be happening in other states is definitely not happening in Florida. Now, but when it comes to these voters, a lot of them are new to the process, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you're happy to have a lot of new Republican voters uh, right. coming into the voting booth. But do you think you and maybe some other uh, party chairmen in different places around the country, in Colorado, for example, didn't do a good enough job of educating these people about you know, some of these you know, rules, the fine print. Uh, that's possible, um, but uh, done a very good job of educating people who call me in the middle of the night, send me emails, and uh, are wondering, uh, asking me, why are you stealing the election for Ted Cruz away from Donald Trump? And I tell them what I'm telling you now. It's impossible. Couldn't possibly happen according to the rules. And uh, I myself, like Debbie, am a big Donald Trump supporter. Um, and um, we've had him. He was our keynote speaker at Lincoln Day Dinner. Personally, there's nobody I know who would ever try to do anything to take the election away from Donald Trump, who rightly earned all 99 delegates. He will receive his 99 delegates on the first, second, and third ballot, and there's nothing anybody can do. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, nobody can steal those delegates from him. So why would someone like Debbie go to the trouble of, of doing that and putting it on Facebook? Why, why would she do that? Um, well, I'm, I'm friends with Debbie on Facebook. She's a really okay. nice lady. I yeah, like so, so did you um, respond to her? We tried to reach out to her. We didn't hear back yeah. from her. I just want to let her know that or anybody else <laughs> listening. We, we wanted to have her did with us. Did you change your mind? Um, no, I haven't had a chance to talk to her since I saw her on Saturday at the Delegate Selection Caucus. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of it is a misunderstanding of the rules. Um, um, because um, certain people weren't selected to be a delegate, and we only have three slots per congressional district, so many people will apply most won't get selected. I can understand there are hard feelings about that, but um, to assign uh, corruption or any kind of shenanigans to the process as a result, that, that's not fair. Okay. Um, Republicans are not stealing this election from Donald Trump in Florida, and um, I think we made uh, darn sure of that. All right. Okay. So Debbie, if you're watching, there you have it. Right there. All right, let's switch gears a little bit. Uh, today, Palm Beach County State Attorney David Ehrenberg decided not to press charges against Trump's campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski. Here's the video of the incident that's in question. We have Play it? that. You know, we, we've all seen the surveillance video yep. from Trump's uh, uh, golf course in Jupiter. Now, Corey, um, there you, go. There's you, you a video see the right surveillance there. video right here. Ehrenberg said there was evidence there, but not enough to 
meet the, the, the standard that if they, they should proceed in good faith, to, that they had enough confidence they could secure a conviction. You, you predicted this outcome. When it outcome. comes to battery, right. You predicted this outcome when we first had you on a couple weeks ago. So no surprise here from you that the state attorney, Dave Ehrenberg, has dropped these charges. No, no, <clears throat> excuse me, no surprise at all. Uh, if you look at the video and you look at the statute and the intention of the statute, it, it's got to be more than just an unconsensual touching. Otherwise, half the people in a mall across America would be charged with battery because of the unintentional um, touchings against your will. If you just tap somebody to, to talk to them, that would be seen as a criminal battery. And it's not. It's ridiculous. I think Mr. Ehrenberg did a, did a great job not only handling, handling the pressure of the political um, theater around it, but I think he looked at the facts of the case. And, and I, I talked last time, thank goodness there was actually a video, because mm. the video, it's not he said, she said. It, you, you get it right there and almost black and white. Nobody can have a biased agenda. Nobody can claim anything about the person, you know, whether they did this or she did that or he did that. It, it's right there, and, and I think he didn't, Mr. Ehrenberg did an excellent job in looking at the evidence and, and Florida's law. Now, there's been some reporting, Corey, that uh, Michelle Fields might file a defamation case, something to, to that effect. I know you're a criminal defense attorney, but what do you think about the, the next step, maybe going to, to a civil trial on this? Do you think there's grounds for that? Uh, listen, unfortunately, in today's civil courts, there's almost grounds for anything, and there needs to be probably better sanctions to stop frivolous lawsuits. I will tell you this. It, it's a tough burden. She's going to have to prove that there was, that, it, that if it was professional slander, that that you don't have to prove damages, but if it's not professional slander, she has to prove damages. She has to prove that his comments hurt her so much that it affected some type of monetary damage, and that's what you're gonna have to look at. And I don't think she's even made those allegations. So she may talk about it, it may be, be buzzworthy to, mm -hmm. to get it trending. I just don't see it going anywhere. And if it does, if there is a suit for slander, again, I said it before, it's probably political theater. It'll be more political theater. Oh, there, there seems to be an, an insatiable appetite for political theater this election cycle. <laughs> Corey Strollo, thanks so much for being with us. Criminal defense attorney, also Michael Barnett, the chairman of the Republican uh, Party of Palm Beach County. Thanks for your insight too Thank on you. the situation Glad and voters. And so hopefully much. we put some folks' fears to, to bed a little bit about stealing the election. We, we can hope. The rules are the rules, right folks? Well, at least here in Florida, right? All right, at least here in Florida. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for being with us. All right, out with the old, in with the new, right? Not necessarily when it comes to the presidential race this election cycle. While it's cooler to be older this year, and what does that have to do with millennials and the vote? And what does it mean for Democrats? We'll talk about that when we come back after this.